Now I'm heating my uh, sparge water. I'm going to get this up to boiling before I put it in here. I'm at 154 on my grain bed and I want to get it up to 170 and I got about three gallons in this thing. And I think that's going to come out about right. Uh, there's a lot of questions about how much water should be put where, but this is what I'm going to do this time. Okay, okay, we're running a little bit below or a little bit above the uh, target temperature. We're 154. I'm calling it good. And I'm going to add in sparge water, which is right at 200 degrees. Okay, I'm putting this water in here in small amounts, uh, one to keep an eye on the temperature, but the other one I'm kind of spreading it out because I don't want to mess up that uh, the grain that's laying all around my little filter down there. So uh, I'm trying to put it in in small amounts so that I can actually uh, uh, keep that grain bed uh, the way it started out. As I was afraid of, I still was unable to get to my 170 degrees. Uh, and I put my sparge water in. I got another half a gallon I'm heating right now. I'm going to pour that in there and see if that makes a difference. And then we're just going to have to call it good. Well, I'm not going to put any more in here. I'm up to 167. That's about the best I can do. So now I'm going to leave this set. Oh gosh, how long? Hmm. Going to give this about, I'm going to give it eight or 10 minutes to settle down. And then I'm going to start recirculating the wart. Now all that really is, is I'm taking the wart from in there. You can see I pretty much got a 48 quart uh, cooler, pretty full. Okay, I'm going to start recirculating the wart. Now what that does is all the holes and all that sort of stuff will catch on that stainless steel braid and kind of halfway plug it up and create a better filter. And so I'm going to rinse this uh, sparge water through until I get clear wart. Now the first one I did, I wasn't real picky about this, and I ended up with a pretty cloudy brew. Whether that's a reason for it or not, I don't know, but I had a lot of suspended solids in the wart, even after it had finished fermenting and cold crashed and everything. So, I'm gonna wait a few minutes and do that. Here's a look at some of the first sparge water I've cut, well, first wart I've collected out of this thing. Uh, you can see there's a little tiny stream, uh, but it's pretty dirty, and I'm gonna have to be changing that valve all the time to maintain any sort of uh, uh, flow, because things are gonna plug up and so on. But uh, I'm just gonna let it watch here. I'm probably gonna run this thing probably close to 20 minutes, uh, or until it gets clear. Okay, uh, I'm just about done uh, clearing the wart. It's pretty good, running just a little trickle. You can see a little trickle coming out of there. Uh, that's all I really want to do. I'm going to give it about another five minutes. I put 25 minutes into this, and it looks like I'm pretty clear. Just a note, I've got the valve on this thing just barely open and I adjust it back and forth as it starts to plug up or, or release more. And I'm spending a lot more time on it than I did with my first uh, all grain brew uh, to get this right because it just seems like this is going to be better to just barely run it through. This should take quite a bit of time to get this clear. So what I'm going to be ready for now 
is putting it into the boil pot and we'll start getting ready to boil the uh, the wort. Okay, after the recirculation, now I'm just going directly into the boil pot. Now, what I essentially have here is sugar water. Okay, now you can see the rate it's coming out at. That should take anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. And I'm going to let it run pretty slow. Uh, I'm getting a really clear wart down there so far. And uh, without many chunks of stuff in it. So uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. Just got to be patient here. So I'm just going to let this slowly fill up the uh, wart kettle. And when it's done, you know, I, uh, you got to make sure you get everything out of the mash tun that you can get out of it so that your, uh, all your liquids are out. And then uh, you're going to be ready to boil a yort, <laughs> boil the wart.